Hi everyone, it's Mickey, and in GameMaker 2023.8, they've added easy tile collisions. All the collision functions have been updated to take tile maps as well as objects. Let me show you how you can do this. The game currently running is from the platformer movement in 5 minute video. Check it out in the description below for a full explanation of the code. First, we need a sprite to use as a tile set. I've already created a simple sprite and you can download it below in the description. Now it's very important that if you would like slopes to work, we need to change the sprite collision mass to be precise. Now we can create a new tile set. I'll name this tile set TS underscore default. Now let's select the sprite to use as the tile set. I'm going to also change the width and the height of the tile set to 64 pixels. Now to have the tile map collisions, we need to ensure that the disabled source sprite export is left unchecked. Now we can return to the room and add a new tile map layer between our background and the player layer. We also need to use the inspector to assign the tile set that we created. Using the tile map tools, I'll just draw out a simple platformer scene for our player. Now let's open up our player and we'll open up both the create and the step event. Now inside the create event, we need to grab a reference to the tile map layer that we just added to our room. We can do this by using the function layer tile map get ID and passing in the name of the layer that's in our room. Now inside the step event, instead of checking for collisions for the object ground, let's replace it with our new variable called my tile map. So you can see that we're colliding with our tile map and our slopes are working, but we're not colliding with the object anymore. But don't worry, let's close our game and fix this up. We can simply return to the step event and pass in both the object ground and my tile map as an array into the move and collide functions and also the place meeting functions. We'll run our game again, and as you can see, we're now colliding with both the tile map and the object. Now, the collision functions don't stop at just place meeting and move and collide. All of the collision functions have been updated to accept tile maps, objects, and arrays. And with that, happy coding, and thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.